Jess, um, that just reminds me of huge ass from The Simpsons, but anyways, not making fun of your name, it's just something that reminds me of. Uh, I actually am sorry, I, <clears throat> this is the first time I ever did it where I actually, um, made public, um, the person who sent me a comment in a PM, and that was not intentional, I did not, um, when I uploaded the videos, the, the computer had shut down, or the, the video, first video, and um, it was made public without me being able to change the title or whatever, but I don't think there was any private information um, released, uh, you know, no personal stuff um, in there. Uh, and a lot of it also, it's just because I wasn't even thinking, um, although the computer did shut down. I should bring up that um, the Anglo-Saxons, uh, when they were converting to Christianity, right, you had the, the, the Irish, the Gaelic, um, who in the ancient times were called the Scots, who when they went to Pickland, which is not what currently is Scotland, um, it got call, increasingly called Scotland as the Celtic, Irish, Gaelic people were coming down and transforming the entirety of Pic Pickish culture. Um, and from the south, you had coming up um, Latin papal Catholicism, right? Although it, I don't want to say papal. It's not. It was. It was in the seven and eight hundreds. The worshippers of Odin, and Thor, and Freya, and uh, Twe, and um, uh, the the Norse gods, started to. They actually started building permanent churches that were circular, or permanent temples that were circular. In mimicking the Christian liturgy, whether Gaelic or Latin, right? And they even embraced a form of monotheism where Odin, or Wotan, or however you want to say it, was the one god. Strange, I know. But there, they, just before the complete collapse of paganism in Britain, uh, Anglo-Saxon paganism, you did have... Um, them trying to copy Christianity. Same thing happened with the Mith Mithras cult and um, uh, things during the time of Julian the Apostate. Uh, basilicas really weren't, basilicas were usually public works buildings um, and the pagan temples were different. That's why the early Christians used um, basilicas. Now there were things like St. Saint, Saint Maria Maggiore, uh, St. John, St. Maria, Maria Maggiore's uh, Temple of Minerva, I believe, uh, St. John Lateran was, no, I think that was built by Constantine. Um, but there were various um, churches that were uh, reclaimed from the pagan. Pantheon is one, the Pantheon, but that was uh, not, you don't see many churches that are built like the Pantheon, right? The, the style was the Basilica. Now, Basilicas were used for temples as well, but they steer, they, the, the church at the earliest time when it became legal started, or at least the church, gov the government that was now Christian, used the basilica in it as a kind of a um, generic way so it wouldn't mimic any particular temple. But then when the, you know, pagan, the pagans kept becoming increasingly more Christian. If you look at Africa, many African forms of paganism have, you can see forms of the Catholic liturgy in them as a either incorporation or response to.